Today I'll be teaching you how to make the vault truck in Lumber Tycoon 2. As you all know, the previous method of getting this of getting the vault truck was patched in an, in a Roblox update. However, a couple days ago I spent 8 hours to find a new method on how to make this. And it works. Here's what you need for this method. You need a smooth wall blueprint, a large tile blueprint, and a large floor blueprint. All of these can be found at Wood R Us for cheap. You need to fill in one smooth wall with any wood. And obviously you need a Vows all-purpose hauler truck and a 531 hauler trailer. Next, if you want to automate spawning it, because you want to, you need these optional items. Two wires one button, and one signal delay. <clears throat> All of these can be found at links. First, place down two large tiles on the floor. One, two. Next, you want to place your truck so that the button is facing away from where you want to exit, because this will be a reverse exit. Make sure it's elevated to units above uh, two tiles above the ground. Next, you want to get a large floor and place it where the button is not one stud away from the spawner. Next, you want to take your trailer and flip it upside down so that the button is in the same is in the same location as the other button and place it like this, make sure it's centered, and make sure there's one gap of air right here. And by this point, you're almost done. Next, next you wanna remove your blueprints. Be careful with the ones down here, because you don't want to destroy your hauler. Next, you wanna get your, your smooth wall and it has to be filled in. Now you want to place it so that it is overlapping with the button. The best way to do this is to do it like this. And then move it up and then put it right in the middle here. By this point you're technically done because if you spawn it and then spawn it again you can technically do it, but you want to automate it, which is what I'll be showing next. Automate the spawning, here's what you do next. Take a button and turn it on its side so that it's facing towards these two. If you don't want the button to be sideways, you can buy another wire to connect this. Next, you want to turn the signal delay up and face it, make it so that the button is touching it. Next, set the delay on the signal delay to its maximum amount. Now, take two wires and wire up the end of the signal delay to the trailer. And, and uh, wire up the end of your button, of your button's output, this specifically, over to your truck. You're done. You have just made a vault truck. The truck should spawn, get pushed back, and then the trailer should spawn right after. Now, you just get it. I'm so, I'm so glad to have finally found a method to get this back. This was used by the community for so much years ago. It has all the same features as the regular vault truck, such as the wood pocket, where you can put where you can put a piece of wood or a tree right here. Um, the gliding, where where you can open where you can open everything up, and you just can and you have basically anti-flip resistance, and blueprint glitching, which allows you to unflip yourself. Or flip yourself. If you want to know more about its features, 
Go watch Afton's video, link below in the description or in the pinned comment, where after, he, where after the tutorial, he describes some of the features and some of the stuff it can do. Have fun, and don't troll your friends too hard. Bye.